Welcome back. A major challenge of fighting climate change is figuring out how to do essential activities in a cleaner and greener way. One key example is agriculture, necessary for feeding people, but also a big contributor to climate change. Now, new forms of farming, new technology and new companies are tackling the problem. Senior climate correspondent Diana Olick joins us with a look at one of those companies in her continuing series on clean startups. Diana. Well, Kelly, agriculture production uses about 70 percent of the Earth's fresh water and makes up about a third of greenhouse gas emissions. But it doesn't have to. Farming is now moving inside and farmers aren't exactly what they used to be. Meet Grover and Phil. They're autonomous robots or farmers of the future, working at Iron Ox, a six year old California based farm tech startup. We grow in natural light greenhouses, and our goal is to decentralize farming so we can grow closer to people in a more sustainable way. Iron Ox is combining robotics, AI, and indoor farming to transform industrial agriculture. We have different robots that are tending to the plants. They're checking on it, they're scanning for issues, and they're adjusting the amount of nutrients it gets, the amount of water it gets. It is in direct contrast to what Alexander, who grew up on a Texas farm, calls the spray and pray approach to agriculture, where more chemicals create more quantity, less quality. The advantage of growing indoors is growing anything at any time, regardless of climate and climate change. Iron Ox can also vary what it grows from vegetables to fruits and berries. It also uses hydroponics, growing crops without soil, so water goes directly to the roots. A lot of the water and field farming gets just washed out and never actually reaches the plant. Iron Ox is now expanding to Texas, just outside Austin. It sells to retailers like Whole Foods, as well as to local restaurants. Alexander says the company will produce about 100 times more produce over the next 18 months. Iron Ox is backed by Bill Gates's Breakthrough Energy Ventures, Crosslink Ventures, R7 Partners, ENIAC Ventures, Pathbreaker and IO Ventures, and Amplify Ventures. Total funding to date, $98 million. Now, there is plenty of competition in this space from hydroponics to vertical farming, but the space is incredibly large. Alexander points out that food done right has the ability to reach more people than the top five tech companies combined. Kelly? I'm curious, how do you get the scale, Diana, to, to grow um, enough? Because uh, the, these are all indoor facilities, not outdoors, where you can have hundreds and hundreds of acres. Well, you take over that outdoor space and you make it indoor. And that's why part of this, you know, they're not a vertical farm, but we have started to see vertical farming, which is, of course, farming high up. So you don't take up as much space width wise. But basically, they're saying if you can take farming from the outside and put it inside, they can make it much more clean than being outside with the earth. Also protect themselves from climate disasters, which obviously affect crops as much as anything else. Mm -hmm. OK, Diana, thank you very much. Diana Oleg.